Oh my gosh, Fairfield is, it, it's a, a whole combination of things. Don't matter where your tats go, nappy grow, which be pierced. Oh, sorry, I... Fairfield is, whew. This is the uh, father of the son who called our son the It was in fun! Fairfield is when being politically correct just goes horribly wrong, just completely wrong. We value you. We value black people. It's the worst, but the best. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jada Suzanne Dixon. I am the director of Fairfield, written by Eric Kobel. The first time I read this play, I have to be really honest, I just didn't know how I felt about it. There were things that made me roll my eyes. And there were things that made me shake my head. There were things that made me snort laugh out loud. And there were things that moved me. And I really like to explore this intersection between art and social justice. Fairfield is about two families that have their kids in a elementary school. Their parents are kind of confronted with some race issues. And from that point on, we start to deal with middle and upper class families of different races being confronted with the racism they may be dealing with that they may not even know about. And hilarity ensues. I mean, a month ago, we were smiling at each other, waving across the parking lot at pickup time, right? I mean, I, I recognize you. How can waving be a lie? Hello! We're sharing an experience, and I acknowledge your presence in a non-threatening way. I meant that way. I'm Cheryl McCallum. I'll be playing Angela Wadley. The school is kind of diverse. The community is diverse, but you have to tiptoe around it. So she's trying to find that balance between these two families. And I think she's there to keep the peace, to just make sure that she hears everyone. Hi, I'm Mackenzie, and I'm playing Molly Flemingson. Molly is really honestly trying to figure out how to live in this world and how to be a good person and how to be living in an integrated community and in a diverse community. And she's very earnest about that intention and wanting it to work out. Can I just say, we not only voted for Obama, oh Lord, but we worked for him, worked our butts off. Oh, I think I left my non-racist trophies in the car. Let me go get them. I'm Christina Fontaine. I'm playing Vanessa Stubbs. Every day in rehearsal, I literally get reminded about why I love this profession so much because this show is one of the funniest shows I have ever read. If you will just wait, your name is Stubbs? Is that what you said? You're that Devante kid's mother, aren't you? His name is Deontay! D Deontay! Get it right! In this show, the characters are really good people with really good intentions. They just make horrible decisions. Jada is like so meticulously organized. She's got a plan for rehearsals and in a play that's as tightly packed as this one is with information and content and jokes and, you know, cultural references that you really need to understand in order to make a joke about them in a <laughs> really insensitive but then sensitive way. She is really on top of it. She's super organized and intentional. I'm okay if the audience gets uncomfortable and maybe shifts in their seat and guffaws and, you know, maybe taps their neighbor and says, that's you. Like, I want all those things to happen in a way to help facilitate conversation um, that we're not really good at having today. As a person of color, I'm looking at some of the things that the white character's saying, I'm like, oh, that's not good, but it's really funny. And even some of what my character and my wife, Vanessa's character, says as well. Like, just thinking like, ooh, that's, that's a little off, but it's also really hilarious. I think people should come to see it because they will be challenged, they will be uplifted, they will laugh their butts off, and more so, it will make them think. It will make them think about their own lives, their own beliefs, not beliefs, where they fit on this crazy scale that Fairfield is.
It's a really good time. Like, it's gonna be a fun time. You will not regret it.